CG Thinker, welcome. I'm Rudy, the developer of Fluent, a powerful and user-friendly Blender add-on, especially for hard surface. Today, I will explain how to take advantage of Fluent to speed up decals creation for decal machine and making things easier and faster. If you never heard about decal machine, I will summarize by saying that's an add-on which allows us to add details to our models with faked 3D geometry. We believe that we see geometry, but it's not. It's a project flat plane using a smart material system. Decals are extremely useful for fast and good looking detailing. However, in the process of creating decals, we have to create first some real geometry. And this is where Fluent can help you a lot. Fluent and decal machine in three example. Let's get started. We start with the creation of a plane. We will use it for later modeling operations. At this step, the most important thing is to make sure that's perfectly centered on the world's origin. With coordinate x0, y0, and z0. It's very, very important. Let's keep it simple for this first example, just a rectangle and some bevels. After editing bevels, I switch to edit mode using the tab key. While keeping fluent active, I rotate around the Z axis by 30 degrees. Then I use the array modifier to complete the modeling. I exit fluent and center the boolean object. For the last step, I add a cube. In order to see what I'm doing, I set the object display to wire. I adjust the cube size, then I select my model and add a boolean modifier. At this point, the purpose is to create a sharp edge. My object selected, I open the decal machine panel and click on create simple decal. It's time to test it. To do so, I prepared a sphere. Snap being automatically activated by decal machine, we place the decal holding the common key while dragging the mouse. A little tip, press R then press Z twice to rotate the decal around its perpendicular axis. In case you need one of the add-ons to test by yourself, you will find the useful links in the description. Before starting the next example, we delete the boolean modifier that we added just before and remove the previous cuts. Ok, a little more complex now using a more advanced Fluent feature. We are going to use the new bevel tool, a circular array and the second solidify with some tip. Once again, I use the edit mode, but this time I rotate around the Z axis by 45 degrees. After activating the circular array, I use the VK to rotate my shape. In this case, I think the bevel is too strong, so I lower its value a little bit. Notice that I hold the Shift key to draw from the center and the Control key for our square shape. Now, the trick is to use the second solidify and to use the CK to make a fake slice. Fake slice because here we have only a single object 
after completing the operation instead of two objects with a real slice. Now we finish the model the same way we just did. We add a boolean modifier and select the cube. We adjust it and start the decal machine. Shall we taste it? Yes, of course. It's perfect, really amazing work from Decal Machine. A few words while I clean up the scene. You need to know that Decal Machine allows us to create decals with two objects and each object can use a different material. This is what I'm going to demonstrate now. So I begin with a slice and I'm going to cut this object with the revolver tool which allows the creation of solids of revolution. Do not forget that in case you did a mistake, the backspace key allows you to remove the last point. For this last detail, I use the shape drawing mode and I press the space bar to validate instead of the right click. The shape does not close and we get path. Combined with the bevel tool and the circular array, I get this result. There are two things that you need to know about the two objects decals. The first one, we must remove the normal weighted modifier of the inside object unless we will see some artifacts when rendering the decal. The second one, we must first select the inside object and then the outside object before starting decal machine. It's an important point. Tada! We now have a decal with two materials. Do you already own the two add-ons? All you need is to try. For the other, the links to Fluent and Decal Machine are in the description. If you liked this video and want more Blender tutorial, subscribe to this channel and please don't forget to share, like and comment. See you in the next video and as Virgil said, we grow tired of everything except learning. Bye bye.